Um, there's, uh, I feel like this is a warning, a heavy warning, um, of a tower moment that's going to hit, because there's a lot of indications of something, um, an unforeseen event that's going to hit. I will start with my reversals first. I have the Justice, the Lion Dogs in reverse. Danger was near, and somebody was not protected. An unexpected event took someone by surprise, and someone suffered from it, or is going to suffer from it. <clears throat> I have the Six of Swords in the reverse, the Japanese Ho-Ho. Someone made a move that turned out to have negative consequences, and now somebody could be stuck, unable to move or travel. In the upright, I have the Six of Pentacles. This is Domovoy. Abundance and prosperity will enable you to help someone else in need, <clears throat> or someone to help you in need. You will be able to repay your debts. And the Five of Wands, the Japanese Tengu, an unforeseen event, obstacle, opposition suddenly appears in your path. Malicious gossip could cause you harm. <clears throat> New competition threatens your relationship or career. The last card I have from this deck is Death. This is Anansi. There's going to be an unforeseen event that forces you to make a drastic change. So I feel like there's a big tower moment coming for somebody. Um, somebody was not protected. Somebody made a negative move. Um, this could be literal move, <clears throat> or it could have been some sort of action that somebody took to cause an injustice to somebody, and now they're stuck. We have the Queen of Cups. Some sort of addiction or obsession or something taboo considered about this Queen of Cups. And then we have an Emperor in the reverse. So this could have something to do with some sort of negative consequences for an Emperor Tyrant energy. You know, a masculine father figure, husband, lover. Um, somebody could have said that the Queen of Cups has some sort of addiction or obsession. This emperor could have been addicted or obsessed with this Queen of Cups, someone who is loving, caring, compassionate, emotionally balanced. There's something taboo. They could have been spreading, this masculine could have been spreading a lot of malicious gossip and slander about possibly what this Queen of Cups does for work. Um, someone is trying to compete with this person, whether it's love or relationship. <clears throat> Somebody could have put this Queen of Cups in a competition, whether they know about it or not. But there's financial security and stability. This goes along with that Six of Pentacles, that Dom of Way. Someone's going to have financial security and stability, this Queen of Cups. Something's going to work out in their favor. They're going to be set free from a negative situation. There's some sort of secret being exposed with the moon card. Something is being brought to light. Scorpio, death energy. Um, something new is going to be coming in. Something is over. Some sort of secret is going to be revealed regarding this emperor and what they did. There's a huge tower moment coming for this emperor. Because they rushed in with some sort of lie. And they created a financial imbalance for a queen of cups. So they did something really shady with lies, communication, malicious, th that gossip and slander, they made a move, and it was a stupid move, okay, so if their move was to attack this Queen of Cups, it's backfiring on them, yeah, this, this Emperor wanted someone to be fighting a battle, this is over. Ten of Swords. There's a permanent ending to something. Someone, This emperor was trying to keep some sort of secret from being revealed or stop something from being exposed or brought to light. They could have been trying to cover their tracks. Um, this has to do with money, finances, job, career. <clears throat> yeah, someone's fighting off a lot of battles. There's a lot of talk and gossip going on. There's a meeting, so there's a lot of talk. Um, rumors going around about somebody fighting a lot of battles here with the Seven of Wands. Somebody could be fighting a lot of battles single-handedly on their own. Um, there's a lot of conflict going on because of something that, that this Emperor did to this Queen of Cups. And there's an offer coming towards this Queen of Cups. This uh, Emperor brought a permanent ending to something, to a uni union here. So there's a permanent ending to a relationship because of whatever action that they took. This Queen of Cups is moving on to calmer waters, and it does not include this Emperor. They're in their life's calling. They're working on building a legacy, so this Queen of Cups is working on building something long-lasting, um, 
you know, like generational wealth kind of thing. And this emperor took some sort of action with all these lies and gossip. They, I mean, this person was trying to damage this person's career. This, I'm getting like character assassination. This emperor took um, great lengths. I mean, they went to great lengths to do something to this Queen of Cups. And that's why there's a death, a rebirth, big changes, transformation coming. Something is just over, 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 because this um, union, it can't be fixed, it can't be restored, it's not going to be, there's a permanent ending here with the Ten of Swords, there's a finality, and the tower tried to flip over just now, but it didn't, so I'm just going to leave it in there for now. Yeah, <clears throat> the truth is being exposed. With the Ace of Swords, there's a truth being exposed. People are getting enlightened. Someone's awakened to the strength, the courage, and perseverance that this Queen of Cups has had to have. So this person has been fighting a lot of battles, this feminine energy. Somebody was trying to hide some sort of information or communication. They were trying to stop people from seeing the truth with the Ace of Wands here in the reverse. Somebody was trying to stop people from finding out the truth or hiding some sort of communication. They could have tried to steal a gift or they were hiding that um, maybe this Queen of Cups was a gift. Somebody was obsessed with something, with causing somebody harm and keep it, trying to keep them in isolation. So somebody couldn't stop thinking about uh, the Page of Wands, some sort of message that was sent about somebody being in isolation. So we're trying to keep someone in isolation. Somebody was trying to um, keep someone in isolation by turning people against this person, this Queen of Cups. They wanted everyone to view this person in a negative light. They wanted them alone, hurt. Um, I don't know why this person was trying so hard to isolate them, but they could have even been sending messages to this person. Once again, death and rebirth because somebody was juggling finances. They caused this Queen of Cups to be alone in isolation, juggling finances. Some sort of secrets being exposed, and this has to do with, um, this can also be a divine counterpart coming into union. So this can also be um, your divine counterpart coming into union partnership, because then we have the offer that someone has been waiting for. So there could be a divine partnership coming together because of someone's strength and courage and perseverance. So somebody could be enlightened, getting awakened to some sort of truth about this Queen of Cups, and they could be wanting to come towards this person and make them an offer. <clears throat> this is going to lead to ten of pentacles so there's a divine union coming together and an offer someone's been waiting for and this is going to lead to financial security and family stability this goes along with that six of pentacles being able to repay debts um, joy prosperity abundance regarding finances or somebody went through a lot of trouble, an emperor went through a lot of trouble to cause a disruption for this Queen of Cups. This masculine energy wanted to prevent this Queen of Cups from having options, and that's why they caused a financial imbalance. So this emperor here was truly a tyrant. They wanted this person to be broke, busted, and not have any options except what they wanted them to have. It's like somebody who was trying to control another person's life by controlling their finances. But this Queen of Cups is getting an Ace of Pentacles, new start, new beginning. It could be an inheritance. Um, it could be a move, a job change, um, you know, a new home. But there's something really good, a new start, new beginning, that's really coming in for this Queen of um, Cups. And this masculine, this emperor in reverse, was trying to stop this from happening. Yeah, they tried to stop this person from receiving money. They were trying to keep them bound and trapped. But this Queen of Cups has a new start. They get a new beginning with this Fool card here. Somebody gets a clean slate. This Queen of Cups is getting a clean slate. Like, they can do all kinds of things with their life. They're going possibly in a new direction. Um, you know, I, there's just a big transformation, big changes in this energy that are coming. And this is like a huge tower moment. It's a good thing for this Queen of Cups. For some reason, it's really not good for this masculine who worked really hard to stop this from happening or tried to stop this from happening.
And we have a King of Pentacles here. So this could be the masculine that um, wants to come into partnership with that Queen of Cups. Because here we have the King of Swords, someone who is cold-hearted, energy vampire, draining time, money, energy, resources, an unsuccessful love offer, someone who didn't, you know, um, give this Queen of Cups the offer that they deserved because they were a thief. They were trying to steal something. They were trying to steal this Queen of Cups abundance. Okay, they were trying to stop them from being able to grow, manifest. They were putting barriers and blockages in their way. So this King of Swords tried to steal something, and this could be um, their career, their livelihood, the ability to make money or finances. They wanted to stop this person from being able to find love or have that Ace of Cups. Oh, man. But a decision has been made. This King of Pentacles has made a decision to partner up. And that's going to bring um, this Queen of Cups into their Ten of Pentacles. So this King of Swords tried to steal some sort of treasure, some sort of gifts, talents, treasure. Um, they may not have viewed this... Um, queen of cups as a treasure they didn't want anyone to see that they were a treasure that they were a good person that they were a gift that they were an asset this king of pentacles is admiring this queen of cups and they want to take some sort of swift action some sort of communication could be coming in quickly this king of pentacles could be wanting to communicate with this queen of cups and possibly let them know how they feel about them Yeah, someone's in despair with a nine of swords. Someone is in despair after investigating, spying, and finding something out. So that's that moon energy, that moon card, um, that ending. So somebody went spying, investigating. They found something out, and they are in despair over what they found out. They're they're finding out the truth about this king of swords. About this tyrant masculine who was very cold-hearted. There's going to be some sort of communication coming in here. Somebody was trying to take someone's gifts. They caused a financial imbalance. They tried to make somebody look like they were not gifted, that they didn't have the ability to make money. King of Swords here in the reverse again. But there's going to be communication about something really sweet. Nine of Cups here. Um, very happy times. Um, so there's going to be some sort of communication that's going to be really happy, really good. Um, this King of Swords, once again, is in the reverse. They're not gifted. They're not talented. They could have been trying to copy, steal, or imitate somebody's work. They tried to cause a disruption for someone's work. There's a tower moment. I told you guys, there's a big tower moment coming. This person was hiding their true personality. Um, you know, they hide who they really are. This tower moment's going to be really good for the Queen of Cups, um, this King of Pentacles, but it's not going to be good for this King of Swords, but there's some sort of information communication that's on its way. So something is already in motion, something is already moving forward for this Queen of Cups, and it could be this King of Pentacles moving towards this Queen of Cups to communicate with them or give them some sort of information. This can also be some sort of um, information from a court. <clears throat> Someone is watching to see if someone has received some sort of communication. So someone is watching, spying to see if this information or communication has reached the other person. Um, and if if balance is being restored, justice, something has to be balanced out and someone is watching. It's like they, they may be being quiet. They may be secretly watching, but someone is watching these scales being balanced out for this Queen of Cups because somebody was faced with a decision with the wheel of fortune here and they made a bad decision they're stuck they tried to place barriers in the path they have you know there's not fond memories so you know someone um created a lot of bad memories <clears throat> someone from the past here the empress and the reverse so somebody created some um barriers for 
this person, this King of Swords could have chosen an Empress, somebody that they dealt with from the past. Um, it could be like an ex-spouse, something like that. But there was some sort of barrier when someone had a decision to make here, when this King of Swords had a decision to make. They chose an Empress and the reverse, somebody from their past. And um, they could have lost a significant amount of pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles here in the reverse. They were a coward. They fell for the low-hanging fruit here. There is a love offer coming but this king of swords put someone in a competition here there was competition with the five of wands here there was communication um this king of swords was going back and forth they were communicating with the queen of cups they were trying to deal with the queen of cups but they didn't make them a solid love offer because they were dealing with somebody from their past an empress wife lover mother figure um so it could have been an ex-spouse or somebody that they were um married to at one time or in a relationship at one time they had um you know the divine feminine competition and somebody was worried about their financial stability so somebody could have chose <clears throat> um the empress and the reverse because they only looked at finances money resources there's a crossroads there's a decision here there's a stalemate um and then we have the king of pentacles and the reverse So we have a King of Pentacles here because somebody was a gold digger. So this King of Swords could have also been a gold digger or this could have been <clears throat> a masculine that was married or dealing with somebody from the past that they had to separate themselves from. So this king of, king of Pentacles in the reverse could have been married. It doesn't necessarily mean they're in the reverse. It could also be past energy. So there was some sort of competition going on. And somebody had a decision to make. Someone is going to make a decision. So if someone had a decision, they were going back and forth between two feminine energies here. All righty then. Whether this is the King of Pentacles or the King of Swords, there's somebody here who had someone in another competition, and I'm getting that there were two females that someone had another person in competition with, but this could also be an Empress that put a King of Pentacles and a King of Swords in competition with each other, so take it how it resonates. <clears throat> There's been a change. There's been a transformation. Um, we have Empress, High Priestess energy, Emperor, High Priest energy, celebration and love. <clears throat> so someone <clears throat> wants to go towards this High Priest, High Priestess energy. Um, and there's going to be celebration and someone is having a lot of loving feelings towards this person and they want to make them a love offer. So someone could have been trying to compete with another person, whether it was secretly or openly. But a decision has been made regarding who someone wants to be with. Someone from the past kept popping up and trying to interfere with someone's relationship or trying to stop them from moving forward. So someone is bored because someone only has their hand out. Someone was a gold digger. Someone only cared about what they could get from somebody. There was, there was like a situation of like unrequited love or something here. Someone is bored in a situation or they're tired of dealing with somebody who only has their hand out wanting something from them. You could be tired of dealing with people who only have their hand out. Someone could have thought this about you. Maybe that you had your hand out. You were trying to get something off of somebody else. But you have some sort of new start, new beginning. Whoever's in the upright here is getting that Ace of Pentacles. And someone has their hand out here. Someone who's in the reverse. You can, but you won't. So somebody may be coming to you with their hand out thinking you'll give them a chance or you'll deal with them. 
but you may choose not to deal with them. This is somebody who's coming back. Hey, hi, remember me? Oh, eating well is the best revenge. So somebody was trying to get some sort of revenge. So someone could be showing up or did show back up to get some sort of revenge or they were doing something spiteful. This is a masculine energy. Someone was being stubborn. They could have portrayed themselves as if they were an alpha male. Someone here, whether it's the king of swords or the king of pentacles here, <clears throat> somebody was being spiteful and somebody just came back to try to get some sort of revenge on somebody and they had their hand out. So when this person came back or is coming back, um, it's because they have their hand out and they're expecting to get something. Big fat hairy deal. They were not impressed. Or you were not impressed with them when they came back to you. Or when they show up, you're not going to be impressed. So for some of you, this could have already happened. <clears throat> to make your dreams come true, you have to stay awake. So someone can't finish something. Something can't be completed. Someone's tired. Someone's ready to just move on with their life. And someone's just too exhausted. You've worn somebody out because <laughs> you just won't deal with them. Someone can't keep up with you, divine, femur, masculine. Someone just can't compete. They're exhausted. Yeah, somebody thought something was funny. They were playing games. Um, they were trying to be deceptive, but their, you know, their suit fell off. They've been exposed. Someone has been exposed for something, or something has been exposed. You know. Um, they wear a nice suit, you know, they dress up nice, but you've seen through something. Their disguise fell off. Something has been exposed. And they are, like, standing there like a, dead, like a deer in headlights. Like, they're completely shocked. They're confused. Someone is confused how you saw through them, how you saw this. They're good at manipulating people. Um, everyone. They're confused at how you exposed something or someone is confused about how something got exposed because they worked really hard to keep this from being brought to light. Someone is confused about how, how, how come, why it is that every time they throw some bullshit your way, you manage to overcome it. This person keeps throwing obstacles at you and they're confused. <clears throat> they celebrated too soon. Um, this could have been somebody you were married to or somebody that wanted to marry you. And someone celebrated something too soon here. Um, they thought they were going to get something. Um, they could have maybe thought they were going to have you trapped in a marriage situation. But something is over, dead, someone, something or someone could be passing over. This is the cemetery. This is something that's dead. And they tried to keep you trapped. So somebody that tried to keep you trapped could be passing away. <clears throat> or someone's ability to keep you trapped is passing away. It's over. Somebody was trying to keep you stuck. Stop doors opening for you. Something could have happened with children. You could be a mother. They could be, a, you know, a, you could be a parent. They could be a parent. They tried to stop something from a door from opening regarding children or child. They could have been stopping you from getting your child back or children back. This could have something to do with a home, a farm, or land, or property. So you could have lived with somebody. They could have kicked you out um, or something like that. Or somebody could have lost or stolen a property. And so someone could have lost their kids or something like that if they were homeless. But we have someone here who's getting a home or property. So this could be a feminine or masculine. But there's someone here who's, who's going to get something back that was taken from them. And this could be in the form of an inheritance or something like that. Or some sort of property that was left. I have feel butterflies near you in the next three to six months. So within the next three to six months, or something is going to be happening in the next three to six months with somebody possibly it's, um, revealing their emotions for someone here. <clears throat> the truth will shock you in the reverse and pointing out your mistakes, projecting in the reverse. So somebody was trying to keep the truth being exposed that all the bullshit that they said about a divine femur masculine, they were projecting their own stuff to cover their own ass. Somebody slept with someone you don't know. They lost their spiritual gifts. 
they were desperate. So someone was desperate to cover up what they did by projecting their energy. Um, you know, whatever they did, they told a lot of people a lot of stuff about you and made it seem as if you were the culprit of doing something, but it was actually them. They were actually talking about themselves. You may not want to deal with this person, find someone to love you. I don't. So this past person for some of you, that may be someone who's coming towards you to try to say, hey, remember me, I'm back. And that could be happening in the next three to six months. So be careful about that. If they haven't come back already, they could be coming back to you, excuse me, in the next three to six months. They scammed you though. They were a thief. So scammed and thief is on there. Um, so <clears throat> you're probably not going to deal with this person because you know that they're a thief and they tried to steal something from you or they did. Yeah, their life's a bitch. Okay. So whatever they did, that karma went back to them and their life isn't as good as they were expecting it to be. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag could be significant. October could be significant. Um, there was something significant that happened in the springtime on a Wednesday in May. Someone didn't expect to have to eat their words. So everything that they said about you, all the projections that they put on a divine femur masculine, they never expected them to come back and bite them in the ass. Then I have a Gemini, don't burn your bridges, fit to be tied, crystal clear. So something's being made crystal clear about a Gemini um, or to a Gemini. They're fit to be tied. Someone needs to be careful not to burn their bridges because something's being made crystal clear. The initials Q, R, S, or T could be significant. Fire sign Aries Leo Sag again in August with an Aries in the winter time and in April. So for some of you, something could have happened in the winter time and something is going to be happening in April. So maybe something is going to be balanced out by April. Yeah, someone is shady as fuck here, and they haven't been able to move ahead. They're stopped from moving, moving full steam ahead in the reverse. That goes along with that Japanese ho-ho card that came out in the very beginning. Someone is not able to move or travel. Somebody was expecting things to go a whole different way than what they really did, but they were shady as fuck. So, I mean, that's not a shocker, because you are pure as driven snow, and they got caught red-handed. So someone who is shady as fuck is getting caught red-handed doing something to someone who is pure, someone who is innocent, someone who is a light being. <clears throat> They're not going to um, get something from you. They're going to have to start over from scratch. They're not moving full steam ahead. They could be losing a lot because you're erring on the side of caution, better safe than sorry. So you're more cautious now. You know, you learned your lessons. So you don't just jump into something. So you go with the flow. Something is happening. You're moving on to calmer waters here. And you're erring on the side of caution. You're making meticulous movements. You're not just rushing into things. You're not doing things impulsively. Something was as dead as a doornail on a Thursday. So someone could have passed away or something that someone did caused an ending or a permanent ending with that like ten of swords dead as a doornail. So something that someone did on a Thursday, that could have been when they got caught doing something. So someone could have gotten caught doing something on a Thursday. And now someone is seeing the writing on the wall. You can run, but you can't hide. And then a Gemini, they didn't want to see the light. And karma's a bitch for this person. Someone's trying to control another person with under his or her thumb in October on a Monday. Someone is older and wiser or older than dirt. So something is not written in stone regarding this older person where they feel like something is not written in stone. Someone's trying to control someone and they could have done something in October or something significant is going to be happening in October on a Monday with an older person in the winter. All right, person, place, or thing. The letter D could be significant. A, ooh, district attorney, Some, somebody could be getting prosecuted. 
going to be having legal issues coming up. H had, they had their chance. Y B A G <clears throat> There could be something significant about a bag. I'm, I'm getting a duffel bag. There could be something significant about a duffel bag or multiple bags. S Plastic bags, duffel bags, trash bags. Something could have been cut. Ooh. Mm. Something could have been cut up and split up and put into multiple dark black trash bags. The plastic ones is what I'm getting. T. Something was staged. K. Someone has something stacked up somewhere, possibly um, in bins or totes. We'll get two more. Another B, and then I'll get one more. And H. So I have a few multiple letters here. So I have two B's, two A's, two H's, D, G, S, Y, T, K. So I hope this helps. Have a good day.